Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about the smart track. Okay, let's start. Under most circumstances, I will not use a smart track by default. However, this could be just my personal preference. The reason for me not using a smart track is because I feel that that function tends to interfere excessively with my workflow. Nevertheless, there are certain circumstances whereby I will use a smart track. And in this demo, I would like to walk you through some of these circumstances. Okay, the first kind of uh, instance whereby I will use smart track is when I need to draw some kind of geometrical shape accurately. Okay, so let me just turn on the smart track, which is this label over here. For example, I want to draw a rectangle. I'm pressing and holding a shift key to turn on the auto. Okay. And you notice that uh, I need to find this location here. And if I try to estimate the location, I might not get an accurately drawn rectangle. Here is an instance which the smart track will be useful. But before we do that, we need to ensure that we are having the necessary uh, object step turned on in order to get the accurate location for the smart tracking in this case we need to turn on the the object and snap okay so i need to turn on the end snap and let me do a demo again okay i'm pressing holding a shift key to turn on the auto and now what i want to do is i need to establish this this location over here and i'm going to snap the cursor to here and then establish the direction Okay, and then pressing and holding a shift key to turn on the auto to get this location. Okay, so let me repeat this again. So I'm going to move this and pressing and holding a shift key to turn on the auto so that I'm able to establish this location. So I can click down the cursor and then click on here to get the accurate rectangle drawn. Okay, so this is an instance whereby I will use the smart track. Okay. Let me show you another instance where I will use a smart track. In this case here, what I want to do is, for example, I want to find the apparent intersection of these two curves and establish a point there. In this case here, I will uh, also turn on the object end snap and then I want to find a point here, so I'm going to click this uh, single point the point command and then I'm going to click on here and then get the smart track to establish the tangent extension okay so you should see the word on tangent in the label okay so I'm going to move it around here and without clicking anywhere on the scene what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cursor to snap this location and then get this tangent extension as well and where the two tangent extension meet is the required uh, position that, that I want so I can click down to establish the correct location so this is another instance whereby I will use a smart track okay now I want to show a third instance where I will use a smart track in this example I want to place a circle radius 10 unit on the center of this slope face and we can make use of smart track to help us achieve that mm, what I'm going to do is uh, before I place the or rather before I execute the circle command I want to place a point that will be used to establish the circumference of the circle you can click on the point and Make sure that the smart track is turned on. I'm going to make sure that the object snap, the mid snap is turned on so that I can find the mid position and then use smart track to establish the direction whereby I will place the point. Okay, so I want to place a point here which is uh, 10 unit away from that center. Okay, I'm going to type 10 enter and this is 
the point which should be used to establish the circumference of the circle okay now I can run the circle center radius command okay I can click on this and I also need to make sure that the object snap the mid and the point options are both enabled okay so now um, let's try to find the center of this face okay so I'm going to first use the smart track to find the middle point of this edge and then find the middle point of this edge and then use these two points to establish the middle point here which is the center of this slope face I'm going to click on this to establish the center of the circle okay the next thing I need to do is to make sure that the object snap is the project object snap is set to no okay so I'm going to again use the smart track to establish the direction or rather the orientation of the the circle I'm going to okay make sure that I snap here and then I'm going to press the tab key to establish a directional lock okay and now I'm going to use this point to establish the circumference of the circle okay so yeah yeah and then with that we have placed a circle with a radius of 10 unit on the center of this slope face and with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye